Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5 and um, um, I just recently watched Color Level's video of him and his snake on the boat. So snakes on a plane, snake on a boat. It was quite hilarious to watch. I can completely relate. I have my own snake story. In fact, I'm kind of shocked that I haven't told it on YouTube yet. I posted a picture of the snake on Instagram and you'll see that picture now. And um, this was this actually happened. It was the scariest. Here's the thing: me and Jeff get this have this in common. If we see the snake coming, we don't have a big problem with it. Now, I have a legitimate fear of snakes. Like, um, I don't know if I'll ever be able to hold a python. I have a friend who says after the COVID stuff's over with that uh, you know she'll help me get me get help get me over my fear of snakes. But like. I do not like snakes. I used to be the kind of guy who thought on, the only good snake was a dead snake, but I no longer believe that. Uh, I believe they have their place in the ecosystem, and um, I will not go out of my way to kill a snake that is um, over there, you know, to say. Now, if it's in my living space, that's a little bit different issue. But this happened at work. I work as a groundskeeper as of right now, and uh, we were kind of in this, we're kind of at a tree line. Uh, there was this area at my school where we, we call it the bone yard, and we keep, um, you know, scrap metal and uh, different junk there that we will, at the end of the year, uh, tape to scrap and um, get a little bit extra cash out of it. And we also have a burning pile there, so it's a little bit grown up. It's it's not the uh, tidiest place, and uh, it's pretty close to the tree line. And me and my coworker were there, and this other person was there, and they pointed out the snake. They said, "Oh, look, there's a snake." And my coworker goes over there and says, "It's a king snake." That's what he told me it was, and uh, he uh, caught it, and he said, "I'm gonna uh, take it home and release it in my yard." That way it'll eat other snakes. And uh, he, he, he put it in a trash can, and we put the trash can in the bed of the side-by-side, -side, and we were driving to the uh, high school. And uh, there was a custodian guy driving his vehicle um, through the parking lot at, to get into one place to the other. And we thought he would be real animated to see a snake. So we pulled up uh, 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 close to him and we said, Hey, do you want a snake? And he goes, You mean that one right there? And it was resting right here on me. I am not joking. Now, I didn't feel any weight, so it was probably hovering a little bit, but the snake's head was right there. And when he said, You mean that one right there? I looked right there and I freaked out. I started speaking in tongues, not the... Not any kind of holy words or anything, but I started cursing. Like, and that's very common for me. When a snake sneaks up on me, I ha I say holy. I'm not gonna say it, but uh, anyways, I saw the snake. I turned my body and I used my feet to kick and eject myself out of the side by side. I mean, I had some air time, and about that time. Other people from grounds and uh, some other people that I worked with drove up at that moment and they saw me eject myself out of that side by side. And they all laughed at me and to be a little bit honest, it probably was funny to them, but it wasn't funny to me, but I recognized that it could be somewhat humorous. And the snake ended up crawling underneath the uh, seat of the side by side and getting in kind of the engine area. And I told my coworker that he's going to drive it to the shop, and we're not, I'm not riding in that side by side until he gets it out. Keep in mind, I know this is a king snake. It's just I can't handle a snake being in the vicinity of me and uh, not knowing where it's at at any given moment. So um, we did all kinds of things. We we tried uh, spray painting uh, the snake to kind of fume it out. Um, we had like uh, those marking flags and we're like jabbing it trying to get it to come out. We spent probably an hour and 30 minutes uh, trying to get this snake out of the side by side. And when we did, we got a um, five gallon bucket with a lid, put it in there. And uh, we're like, oh, well, what are we going to do with the snake? 
And he texted, my co-worker texted his wife, and she said that he can't bring the snake home. So uh, we took it to the elementary, and uh, uh, this is kind of close to the playground, but it's in between two different playgrounds. But there was a water source, and it has kind of a grown-up uh, feel to it. You know, it, it, it kind of has tall grass. And we're like, we're going to release this snake in this creek area. It's not on the playground, but it's in between two different playgrounds, all separated by a good distance. But it's still, um, you know, it's still kind of close to a playground, but we figured it wouldn't be that big of an issue. We knew that it was a um, friendly snake, and uh, the kids shouldn't be playing over there. But the kids saw us uh, doing something over there, so they ran up, and they're like, what are you doing? Like, we're releasing a snake. They're like, what kind of snake is it? We're like, it's a king snake. And at this time, the snake snake has paint, uh, pink paint on it. And it's still acting pretty chill. And we're really sitting it crawls off or slithers off or whatever you want to call it. And the kids run to their teachers. They're releasing a king cobra. And so we had to walk, talk to the teachers about how we released a king cobra. And we explained that it was not a king cobra. It was a king snake. And this is a friendly snake, and they'll eat other snakes that we don't want. And we said, just don't let your kids play over there if you're worried, but the kids should be fine. And everything was fine. But I have never had a snake so close to me. Now, I've walked up on snakes, and, uh, you know, they're probably um, about maybe six or seven inches from my foot. But to have a snake resting right here, and then to look down and see it, was probably the scare, one of the scariest things I've ever uh, witnessed. Um, that, catching a shark by hand, and uh, flying after 9-11 was probably the scariest things I've ever done. Yeah, I wasn't even this scared when I got in the cage with the tiger, and the tiger ended up biting me. So, uh, to, <laughs> it just kind of lets you know that, you know, not a whole lot of things really scare me that much. Uh, there are certain things that scare me, but snakes are one of them. And this snake wasn't like hissing or, you know, in any kind of attack position. It was like, hey, what's going on? Where are we going? But to have that snake right there would have scared the crap out of me. And um, I do not want to rel relive that or experience that again. I thought I'd share that story with you. Again, here's the picture of the snake. You can tell me if it's a king snake or not. I don't know. I'm not a snake expert, but that's what I was told it was. And it was pretty long, uh, probably about um, uh, two and a half um, foot, um, maybe a little bit more. So that's it. I'm a Satsu 5, and I'm out.